A mild stretch to our morning is going to give way to a cooler afternoon than what we have seen over the better part of the past two weeks as temperatures are held in check by the cloud cover and, of course, by all the showers and storms that are going to be around. 77 will be your high today in the springs, 82 in Pueblo, 79 at Canyon City. Lower to middle 80s as you head out into the plains and 60s and 70s in the mountains with 60s being seen in the highest elevation areas like Leadville, which will top out at 63. Salada will get up to 73. Alamosa will top out at 75, 81 at Trinidad. The projected satellite radar, we call it the sky cast for the next 24 and 36 hours is going to show a whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of green mixed in with some yellows and that means heavy showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible not only today and also tonight, but as we go into our Wednesday too, as an upper level disturbance pushes its way through the region, that enhances our chance for some rainfall over the next day or day and a half, and that's going to be producing some heavy amounts of rain, too, with some of the showers and storms over in the eastern plains and off in the Denver metro area and points northeastward from Denver, perhaps reaching or exceeding severe limits once again. We saw a couple of tornadoes in metro Denver yesterday. Tornadoes are not as likely, but there are going to be some gusty winds and perhaps even some small hail with some of the storms that do pop up over the eastern plains and into the area just off to the northeast of Denver over the next day or day and a half. Skycast, as we take through our Wednesday is going to call for more showers and storms. And by Wednesday at 6 o'clock, the bulk of the precipitation retreats to areas to the west of Interstate 25 and then fades away as we go from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then by Thursday afternoon, we'll begin to see somewhat calmer weather finally take over. Skycast precipitation, look at these reds and oranges and yellows. That indicates one, two, three inches of rain possibly. We'll continue to track those burn scars for you as we go through the next couple of days as we're going to continue to see possibilities for heavy amounts of rain. If one of those heavy storms falls on a burn scar, that of course will cause some real flash flooding issues. 57 right now in the springs, 64 in Pueblo, 61 in Canyon City. On our way down to the upper 50s as we go through the nighttime hours tonight, of course, a very mild night once again as we're going to see lots of clouds around. Seven day forecast for the springs, high temperatures tomorrow are going to be sitting only in the upper 60s in the springs. Then we rebound to the lower to middle and middle to upper 70s later on in the forecast. Pueblo, your seven-day outlook calls for high temperatures to drop to 73 tomorrow. Back to the lower to middle 80s Sunday and Monday. Lows are going to be sitting in the mid to upper 50s. As we go through our Canyon City seven-day forecast, we notice that high temperatures here are going to drop to right around 70 on Wednesday. And they make their way up into the mid to upper 70s as we go through the rest of the extended forecast in your 80 next Monday. Lows are going to be sitting in the lower to middle and middle to upper 50s. Teller County, you dropped a 59 tomorrow afternoon. That's the best you'll be able to do. That is pretty chilly for this time of the year. Temperatures then rebound to the mid to upper 60s later on that forecast. Take an extra blanket with your sleeping bag if yeah. you're the hike. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. And Thanks, of course, a rain jacket too. Yeah. Right.